which after 10 years still felt as far away from me as ever. Uh, by the way, Susie has had many issues uh, in their marriage. She used to be like that with me, I said. Scared me shitless. I didn't know what to do half the time. Jesus, my muttered with a disbelieving chuckle and a shake of her head. Woke up this morning thinking I'd meet my long lost mother. Now I find out she's a thief and she's crazy. Don't say that, I told her. Your mother's not crazy. What she was, I could not say. The doctor, her physician actually, the only doctor she ever knew, called it acute depression. I would always think of it as a sadness she carried around, like something she needed. My slowed down as we passed Flamingo Road. We started looking for the bar. It was frigid in the Jeep, but the sunlight warmed my cheek, made me think of warmer days in the past, when I'd go driving with Susie by the ocean. I was never the passenger with her. I drove us everywhere, even when we took her car. It was my role, and I insisted on it. And to some degree, she did too, though I know now that I drove because I simply didn't trust her to do it. Had we the time, I would have told Maya about my honeymoon with her mother. I would have told her about how we had gone to San Diego, a drive that took us an entire day, and how her mother got car sick and vomited several times onto the Pacific Coast Highway. <laughs> it was July. Traffic was horrendous. And the car's air conditioner was weak and intermittently didn't work at all. Not to mention I had forgotten the cooler with all the drinks and snacks she prepared. She spent most of the ride with her seat reclined staring out the window at the ocean 